<sighs> Hello guys, how are you, how are you doing, how are everybody doing? I got another thing I would like to talk about today. And it's getting crazy with Hollywood and then, and then no more fresh ideas in this world, in this movie industry no more. I don't understand it. <sighs> they're remaking, they reboot. I mean, I knew about this, but I read, I just read some source and the plot of it. They're rebooting one of my favorite, favorite holiday movies ever. I watch it every year around Christmas time. And that's Home Alone, which is going to be on the Disney Plus. Yet again, we got another reboot. Another freaking reboot. Uh, so let me just show you the uh, so far the cast of the the parents and the and the kid. Then I'll tell you who they are. I'll just show you a little picture real quick, and I'll get back with you. So did you see the actor actors? I don't. I'm not familiar with none of these actors, um, but I did look them up. Um, apparently, the little boy Archie Yates, he was in Jojo Rabbit. I haven't seen that movie yet. Um, Ellie Ellie Kemper, I'll be saying it wrong. Ellie Kemper, she was on the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I've never watched that show either. Um, I know of it, but I never watched it. Um, Rob Delaney, he's on some Amazon show called Catastrophe. I never even heard of that. So I don't know, I'm not familiar with none of these actors. I think I've seen her before, the girl, the, the mother, the one that's playing the wife. I've seen her before, um, but the rest of them I've never seen. I think they're all of them are newcomers. Um, I could be wrong about the guy. I don't know nothing about him either. But the little boy, I think he's new. He think his first movie was Jojo Rabbit, which I heard wasn't a bad movie. It was pretty good. Um, oh, so I read the possibly the, some of the plot. I don't know. It's, it's 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 from sources, so it might not. Who knows? It might not even be true. It just sounds ridiculous to me. I mean, it don't sound like nothing like the the classic that is with Macaulay Culkin in it at all. Um, let's see. Let me. I'm just gonna read you this real quick. Um, that I want to. It's just I, this. The other again, Hollywood. They just don't have no more fresh ideas. I don't understand it. I'm sick of these doggone reboots. And then they try to do different things with it. I mean, just some stuff you need to just leave, just leave alone. So let me read you this real quick. This is really uh, irritating. Uh, so Disney Plus is going to pick this up, by the way. I'm sorry. Disney Plus is going to pick up this Home Alone reboot. So, And they said it could be titled differently. I guess, I'm not sure they're going to keep the Home Alone name. I think they are, but I don't know if it's going to be adding more to it. So to the text. So we'll see. So let me read this to you guys real quick. So it says, uh, the new story, according to sources, sees Kemper, that's the wife, that's the actual name. They haven't revealed what their character name is. I don't know if they're going to be the McAllisters or not, so let me read you the rest. Kemper and Delaney, the husband, play a wife and husband who, in order to save their home from financial ruin, go to war. With the kid who has stolen a priceless heirloom. Does that sound like anything like the original one at all? And what is who? I mean, what kid is? is so they said a kid who has stolen a priceless heirloom. So what? A kid is a villain? I'm confused. I'm what? <laughs> I mean, this could be this could be rumored. It's because it says it's from, from it's from sources, so I don't know if this is. It might not even be true, but still, it sounds crazy. I don't get it. It says in order to save their home from financial ruin, go to war with a kid who has stolen a priceless heirloom. Where are the wet bandits? No Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern. No, it don't say he's left alone either. It's got nothing to do with Home Alone. What's what is going on with this plot? I mean, I, I, I don't take this as a grain of salt. This could be just a, it could be a rumor, because it says so. It says according to sources. I don't know. I mean, it could be, it could be fake. But still, this has got to stop. All these reboots. This is ridiculous. Pretty soon they're gonna reboot every classic movie. I wouldn't be surprised if they did Back to the Future. I'm kind of surprised they haven't did Back to the Future yet. I'm like, what are they waiting for? I mean, good lord. I mean, <laughs> come on, Hollywood. Y'all can't think of nothing else. So Disney Plus is supposed to pick this up, but still, I mean, everything Disney does ain't ain't perfect. I tell you that right now. It's, 
it's always a flaw in some movie studio. Everybody don't do this uh, great movies. Every studio always have a bomb, and everybody and every movie still has a has a um a box office success. So, luckily, this is gonna be in uh, Disney Plus. It's not gonna be in the theaters. Thank goodness. But still, these, these this is ridiculous. I mean, these reboots. This is ridiculous, and I, that's this is one of my favorite holiday movies ever. I watched both. I watch one and two every year. I even love three. Three was kind of a semi reboot because it, it was a different kid, but it's kind of the same story. The little boy builds traps, except the criminals in this one was like they like some kind of spies or something on that one. I know was, I know that was divided. With some people said they didn't like it, some people said they did. I enjoyed that movie, and it's like it was, it was the first Home Alone that was um takes place after Christmas. Um, I like that movie. I have no interest. I've seen part four, and that's a pile of garbage. I hate that freaking movie. Uh, I never seen the fifth one. I have no interest. Heard that was horrible too. I have no interest in seeing that garbage. But the ones with Macaulay Culkin, those are classic. Those are my top favorite Christmas movies ever. I even like it better than Christmas Story. I know everybody like Christmas Story better. Home Alone is my favorite. That and um, National Lamp Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I love those movies. Jingle all the way. I love Jingle all the way. This is ridiculous though. All these reboots gotta stop. You just rebooting these classic movies like this. Come on now. Home Alone. I mean, to me, if you're going to reboot it, maybe have Kevin older and he has kids of his own. Maybe he can be older, has kids of his own, and then he leaves them home alone or something. But even though that, even that's crazy. I'm like, that's like a trend with this family. They're always leaving their kid alone. So that would be kind of stupid, too. And then no mission. I mean, I mean, this is just just it's just a little bit. So we don't know that much inf info of this. What about the wet bandits? You can't have the reboot out the wet bandits in there. Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern made the movie too. They were great characters. They played good bad guys. They were hilarious too. Um, so I, I don't know how this is gonna play out. I don't understand what this is all about so far. But I'm not. I'm not uh, impressed at all. At all. I'm not really impressed with this. I, when I first heard the news about them rebooting Home Alone, I wasn't happy about it. I'm like, why? Why do we need a reboot of this movie? It's fine where it is. The original one is classic. Leave it alone. I love the original one. That's one of my favorite movies ever. One of them. I love Home Alone 1 and 2. I enjoyed it. I, like, I love watching those every year. It's just every year I watch those. It's my favorite Christmas movie. Um, but this is this gotta stop. It's supposed to shoot early 2020 in Canada. So they're gonna start filming next sometime next year. So I'm assuming that's gonna be on Disney Plus sometime next year, release on there. So I might not even watch it. I might still see some clips on YouTube, but I, I'm, I'm tired of these reboots. I mean, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I mean, there's been reboots that probably were successful. I can't think of that on top of my head right now. But, um, well, I mean, I was gonna say Halloween, but that's not really a reboot. Well, it's kind of they're going back and they continue from one. But I mean, that was really good. I really like that. I enjoyed the new uh, Terminator movie. That was good. I really enjoyed. It. I think it was the best sequel we had since um two. Like I said in my last video. Um, I can't think. God's little reboots are pretty good. I enjoy those. Those are pretty good reboots. Um, and of course, y'all will like the X Men whenever um, Marvel does it. But still, some stuff you should just leave alone. Some stuff just leave alone. So that's just my thoughts. I'm just, I'm not impressed so far. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But just, let's just wait and see. Maybe it might be. Can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I, I doubt it. it. Could be better than it could be better than the Macaulay Culkin one. I doubt it very seriously though. I don't think none can top the Macaulay Culkin ones. Those are those are just the best holiday movies ever. So that was just my that's I just want to share my thoughts. I just it's just frustrated frustration with this reboot mess. Hollywood pretty soon Hollywood gonna reboot every movie again, even the new ones. They had what's that one that came out today? I have no interest in Black Christmas. They had a remake. I heard it was terrible because they already rebooted that. They remade that already in 2006. That wasn't that good. Just stick to the original one. The original one was, a, was a creepy as heck. I heard this one's hot garbage. Who asked for a second reboot of Black Christmas anyway? Nobody asked for a second reboot of that. I don't get Hollywood. Like they, did, they rebooted um, Hitman. That Agent, what was it, Agent 47? Nobody asked for that. Who want to see a Hitman reboot? Because <laughs> a lot, 
the other one came out what 2005 I think or eight. I don't know, but nobody asked for it. These even talks about rebooting Resident Evil again. Why? Who cares? They did Doom. Wow. That movie was not. It was okay. It was watchable, but nobody asked for that reboot either. And then they they made it no better. The Rock's version was better. I thought you know that was crap too. But this is this is ridiculous. Some stuff reboot I understand, like Spider Man. They put him in the MCU, and I love that movie to death. I love those better than that freaking Tobey Maguire. I'm so sick of that one. I don't even care for Tobey Maguire's no more. Um, I'm, it's better than those put together. Better than Andrew Garfield ones. That's a that's a pretty decent reboot too. But some stuff leave alone. You can't reboot every movie. I know this talks about doing uh, Scarface again too. I'm like, oh good lord, please stop this. Please stop this. I heard them talking about trying to do Dragon Ball Z again. Live action. Why? That last one was atrocious. Me being a big, big Dragon Ball Z fan. This got to stop. I mean, the Total Recall one was okay, but it still can't top Schwarzenegger. I'm still surprised they haven't did Running Man yet. Y'all want to reboot Running Man? What, Final Destination will be next? Child's Play was pretty decent. I give them that. That was a pretty good reboot. Uh, the Halloween reboot with Rob Zombie was pieces of crap. I hate those movies with a passion. Garbage. Pure garbage. I've seen the Psycho remake. That sucks. That was a bad reboot. Um, I wish I could think of some more on top of my head. I'm trying to think of some uh, actual successful. Okay. Ninja Turtles. I, I still love the classic ones, but I do love the ones they had recently. I wish they could have finished it. Power Rangers was a good reboot. That was pretty good. So like I said, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I just want to get my thoughts. I don't like, I'm not too happy with this plot though. And this could be rumored though, but Power Rangers was a pretty good reboot. I really enjoyed it. I'm still, I still wish they would have did continue something with that, but they made that little teaser for nothing now. We've seen that, but there's some good reboots out there. There's some of the ones I named and what I loved, I, I liked. So we'll see. I could be totally wrong. So uh, if y'all want to share anything, let me give you guys thoughts on the bottom comments. Uh, if you want to tell me what you think of this. Um, but me, I'm right now, I'm not happy about it. Because this, this Hollywood reboots thing is really getting ridiculous now. So, uh, thank, thank you everybody for watching my video. Uh, like and subscribe my channel. I really would appreciate it. Uh, hit that notification bell so you can uh, keep up uh, any new uh, videos I post. Um, so, but I really do appreciate people that watch my sh uh, channel and gives me a, and gives me a thumbs up. Uh, I uh, hope you had a uh, good the rest of Friday night. That's just my thoughts. I know I ranted a little bit, but this is really annoying. I really love the original Home Alone to Death. I'm just so mad he rebooted it. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.